Hello ladies and gentlemen, Simon Baden here and we will be doing a Pokemon X Nuzlocke. We'll get into things once we've done all this. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I should try and do a French accent. I am Augustine Sycamore, the Carlos region's very own Pokemon professor. This world of ours is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. These mysterious creatures can be found in every corner of our world. Some run across the plains, others fly to the sky. We live with these Pokemon, lending our strength to one another to live and prosper. Let's get started with some quick questions. Are you a boy or a girl? I'm a boy. Now this is like, one of the things I liked about Pokemon X um, is that you could sort of make your own character three different skin tones, clothing uh, The other bad thing was you couldn't remove the hat <laughs> I'm like really? Because I'm not a big fan of the hats to be honest I like Generation 3's and the remake of Generation 3 Pokemon games uh, hats but Generation 6, it was just a plain red thing unless you changed it. But, which I might do. Right, so I'm going to go with this one because I have got black hair or brown, so it's close to that. Oh, I see. Would you tell me your name? Je m'appelle Simon. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know French, that means my name is Simon. Uh, I did a bit of French in high school, I'm basically Jim Appel, um, come and see if I'm muy bien is all I remember. So it's Simon then, did I get that right? Yes. Simon, Tribian, what a fantastic name. Also Tribian is someone I remember, because it means excellent, or uh, very good, one of the two. Simon, you're very... Ad Go and meet many Pokemon people. Let's go visit the book. You tell too fast. Go on, let me finish. Fleshling! Ow! I didn't need to do that. Looks like he pokes me inside then. Okay, so whilst we're here, as I was saying, I'm doing a Pokemon X Nuzlocke. Instead of a Pokemon Mystery Do, instead of a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. The reason why is because I was challenged by Speed of Pig, aka Brad, to do a Pokemon X Nuzlocke. Basically due to the fact that I laughed at him losing, um, you know, getting parahaxed in the rock gym. And so he decided to challenge me to this. And I think he's going to um, very much uh, not like how I do things here. <laughs> I'm just trying to get it so it's not too bright for everybody because... Uh, there we go. Let's make sure it's focused properly as well. The exposure is locked, but it shouldn't be like that. Okay, there we go. You sure slept well? All rested up from the move. It's about time you got going. Why don't you step out and say hello to the neighbours? Oh, what? They already here? Okay, so let's explore the house. Okay, so obviously mum's in the kitchen as usual in every Pokemon game. We got um, the mother's fletchling. Ooh, look, even mother has a room. That's a first. Okay, and here we have Serena and Shauna. Hey, girls. Welcome to Vanderville Town. My name's Serena, I'm your neighbour. And I'm Shauna, great to meet you. Guess what, we've come to get you. 
The esteemed Professor Sycamore lives here in the Carlos region. I was told he has a request for five kids, including us. But I'm a little surprised he knows who you are. You did just move to Vanneville, after all. Possibly because he knows my mother. Who's apparently a famous firehorn racer. We'll wait for you in the next town over, and you know what? We're going to get a Pokemon! Come on, hurry, let's go! Cool. Okay, so yeah. Instead of the professor being in this like, little city town, he's somewhere else. If you've watched the anime, you'll know where. If you haven't, I won't ruin it for you. But then again, if you've played the game, which most people would have by now, you'll know where, so it's not as if I'm ruining anything. Hey Simon, this way over here. We were just talking about you. Oh god, did you have to? Come on, have a seat. This is the meeting place, Simon. Here, let me introduce you. Everyone, this is Simon. Wow, Sean's description was spot on. So, Simon, this is Tiano. He's got some serious dance moves. And this is Trevor. He never misses a single question on his test, but he's a little shy. Oh, right, nice to meet you. You know, it'd feel like we were close to crew if we call each other by nicknames. Can I call you S Master? Oh, God, no. What? No way! He's a little ass for sure. Oh, God, no. What do you think, Trevor? What? You want me to nickname someone I just met? Shauna, you shouldn't put people in the spot like this. Well, how about something low key? Maybe something like Big Ass? No. I got me a nickname, thank you very much. S Dog. You want us to call you S Dog? Yep. Okay, that's that fits you perfectly. I'm sure we're gonna be great friends, so I'll call you that too. Hey, can we see the Pokemon now? I wanna meet my new partner soon. I know, right? It was such a cool feeling when Chaz and I met our Pokemon. Hope you feel the same way we did. Now, I know what my starter is going to be. It's not gonna be Fennekin. As much as I love uh, Fennekin with the fact that it's unique, cause it's Fire Psychic. I'm um, sorry Fennekin, it's not you. It's not Chespin, I'm sorry buddy, grass fighting is cool, but the four times uh, flying weakness is not my thing. We are going for Froki. Yes. Now, as I said, this is going to be a Nuzlocke. Nickname Let's think All I can think of is Ninja Boy But considering it'll have Ninja when it's fully evolved there's no point Because it'll be classed as Grin Ninja so screw it No nickname for you Froki Sorry buddy So you're not going to give your Pokemon a nickname? Nah Okay, my partner is Fennekin! Wow, we got great! We got together great! The two of us are just way, way, way too cute! Nice to meet you, Chespin and Serena! Because of you, I can be a real Pokemon trainer! Thank you! Uh, pardon me, but I have something from, for you from the professor as well. I have something that will help you understand Pokemon on a much deeper level. Alright, there's the Pokedex! Pokedex, I just gave you is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter. The reason you get one is because the professor wants us to go on a journey with our Pokemon and complete the Pokedex. To put it another way, it's an important mission from the professor, I'm sure of it. Oh lad, no treasure, you're way too serious sometimes. Um, Esther, please take this with you too. It's a letter from the professor, he said you should give it to your mom. Right, because obviously we just got here, so not had the chance to speak to her. Alright, we're done with our errand from the professor. I guess Trevs and I will go look for Pokemon. Let's go, Trevs. In Kalos, kids are chosen to carry a Pokedex and go on an adventure. 
But you need to give that letter to your mom before you go. Oh, is that how it is? You never have to do that in any of the other games. Well, actually, I think second generation was probably the other time we had to do it. You're going to be my opponent in my Pokemon battling debut. Okay, little Fennekin, it's our first battle. Let's win it with style. No, you're gonna lose with style. Oh, sorry, Shauna. Bubble. Okay, so Fennekin is faster. Okay, half damage. Really? Why lower my defense? You're not gonna do anything. You're amazing, it's dark here. Let me fix up your Pokemon. Okay, so. Let's have a look at. Uh, Froakie. Summary. Okay, so. Up attack, defense, special attack, special defense. The lonely nature. Okay. Which lowers the defense. I mean, it helps attack, which is okay, I guess, but Foki doesn't get many physical type moves. Guess mainly special attack moves. So, we're gonna have to be very careful with Foki. <clears throat> so, what did you and the neighbor kids end up doing? Wait one second, Simon. Is that a Pokemon you have there? You got your very own Pokemon? Look at you, how about that? You're a Pokemon trainer now too, congratulations! Huh? A letter for me. It says it's somebody named Sycamore. How could it be a love letter? No. Wow, what a lovely handwriting. Hmm, what do we have here? A request? Oh, I see. Simon, we barely impacts and all kinds of exciting things are happening. Okay, let's get you and Foki ready for your journey. Wait a minute, woman. What's going on here? Here you are, Simon. I even packed a change of clothes. My, what an unexpected turn of events. It's just like a last sudden burst of speed from a race in a Rhyhorn race. You made friends, you made your Pokemon, and now you get to take a lap around Carlos. Oh, jeez. Yeah, Carlos is pretty big. Oh, and don't forget this. Town map. Yeah. You know how to use a town map, right? Uh, yes I do, so don't, please, don't, oh, I'm gonna do it anyway. I guess Raihan just wanted to give you a big send-off for your journey. Well, it has known you since you were born, after all. Good luck, Simon. Go for broke and don't worry. You'll have Pokemon by your side, so you'll be fine. Now, I also really love this game in terms of, like, the sort of region layout. I mean, I know it's basically a big circle, in a way. But it's nice, it's different, it's... best around France, you get all these, like, fashions, uh, all these different Pokemon as well. There's just so many things. Hey, Pokemon Trainer. If you set foot in the tall grass, a wild Pokemon will pop up. But you'll be fine because your po Pokemon partner will battle for me. Oh yes, we do have the running shoes, so we will be using them. Now, with it being a Nuzlocke, um, I can't quite catch this one because I don't have Pokeballs yet. But I will battle it just for some XP. 
Let's go for a bubble. Come on, PG. Come on, how to catch Pokemon with me. Serena's mom and dad are amazing trainers, that's why she knows so much about catching Pokemon and battling. Well, mom and dad may be good, but that has nothing to do with me. Okay, now watch carefully, you two. Oh, look at her, she got some Bonobi. Fletchling! I'm hoping to get a Fletchling. I really am hoping to. Because Fletchling would be amazing. So as we get this whole Pokeball tutorial thing. 50 Pokeballs! What the hell, woman? Why do you have so many? Dun, 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 dun. Gotcha, better be with cat. Wow, the Pokemon went inside the Pokeball? <sighs> Shana, what do you think your Fennekin is inside of right now? Here, I'll show some Pokeballs with the two of you. Woo! Pokeballs! Do you think I could catch Pokemon with them too? Sure! You could catch the Pokemon around here just by throwing a Pokeball near them. Okay, if I find a cute Pokemon, I'll throw lots of Pokeballs at it and then we'll become friends. When you catch a wild Pokemon, it makes your Pokemon stronger too. Good luck! Okay, so yeah, basically... In Gen 6, they... made this thing where... If you catch a Pokemon, you still get the experience. Won't be as much, but you still do get some. Yay! I got Fletchling! Alright, Foki. Oh, it's level 2. I think I could probably just get this right here right now, so let's go for it. There you go, see? And Foki got to level 7. Okay, Fleshling. These friendly Pokemon send signals to one another with beautiful chirps and tail feather movements. Okay, perfect. Let's have a look at it. With this being a nose lock, you want to, I definitely want to make sure of everything. Okay, so special defense up, special attack down. Uh, Tunnel Flame is more like physical more than anything else. So I guess that's okay. It's just Denver and stuff won't do much. Okay, so let's just go back to Aqua Card. Where's the. I think there's a Pokemon here station somewhere around here. Is this it? Yeah. I know I'm already being a bit careful, but... Um... You know, it's just the way I am. This is my second Nuzlocke. The first Nuzlocke was a complete fail. So... Mm. I'll do this one and the one in... Well, I've already done a capture for this route, so I'll do one in the forest. And then that'll be it for today. Hopefully I don't care, because I've already got one now. So, bubble. Yeah, go ahead, I don't care. Bubble again. Mm -hmm.
That's true. Do -do -do. Do -do. Come on, well, let's attack. And then a tail look. Bubble again. I think he's basically the youngster Joey of the game. Oh no, I jumped so awesome. I was so close to leveling up, dude. Oh well, I'll probably level up after capturing some in here. So let's go. Huh. Hey, Shana. Okay, so here's our very first potion. Okay, so let's see what we catch around here. A cocoon. Okay, I do like Beedrill, so there's that. So, why not? Let's go for it. Okay, so we got a captures. One of them being, actually two of them being really fantastic and would definitely complement the team well. Kakuna. I would have preferred a wee dog, because at least then it would know a poisonous thing, but... Oh well. Almost incapable of moving, this Pokemon can only hide in its shell to protect itself when it is in danger. Yep. That's about right. Okay, so we're going to save it here. And that'll be the end for today. And I will do some grinding. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the next episode. Which will be Halloween, obviously. So I'll see you guys then. Bye!